Some people know this state for its massive landmass. Get this? This is the fourth largest state in the United States, and that's a fact. Others, however, know it for its tiny population. Ironic, right? But amidst all these notation and perceptions, one thing you must know as a traveler is, if you don't like the great outdoors, then don't even consider moving to Montana. Montana's futures will be lost on you. However, if you enjoy the exhilarating sensation of exploring the wilds and relish the feeling of being surrounded by nature's warmth and love, then Montana is the best place for you. With a vast amount of unoccupied, this state offers you some of the wildest adventures out there. There's just so much to do and so many places to go in Montana. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. In today's video, we will take you on a virtual tour and a journey to Montana, and together we will explore the top 10 places to visit in Montana. 10. Great Falls. In today's video, we'll start off our venture right in a spot located at the very center of Montana, the city of Great Falls, also known as the Electric City due to its hydroelectric dams, is a stop that every visitor to Montana must make. With a population of 58,717 people in 2020 and 1 million overnight visitors annually, Great Falls is considered the third most populous city in Montana and one of the most visited places in this state. And quite frankly, visiting this city, it's no surprise why people are drawn to it. Montana is a city that mixes a blend of suburban and urban lifestyles. Great Falls is a city situated in the north of Montana, just east of the Rocky Mountains. The city is bisected by the Missouri River, the longest river in the United States. This river's banks make for a cool relaxation spot for visitors who come here. Aside from getting to free the trout that happen to swim along the littoral zone of this river, you can also make a stop at the Giant Springs State Park and the nearby Lewis and Clark National Interpretive Center. These places offer you ample opportunities to learn more about the vast American history. Nine, Missoula. If you're a lover of all things history, then you have just to make that stop at Missoula. Missoula is the second largest city in Montana, second to Billings. It is home to the campus of the University of Montana. As such, during the semester periods, this city can be seen blooming with college students as much. This makes up for a good destination for travelers who simply want to experience the nostalgic sensation of being in a college environment. The city of Missoula also has a rich history, which is evident in historic and preserved railroad stations scattered across the city. These railroads give it an old-school touch that pulls history lovers to the city. However, while you spend time in this city, you might want to check out popular places such as Missoula Art Museum and the historic Roxy Theater. Additionally, you can also spend time rafting down the Clark Fork River, which flows through the center of the city. Or if you are not really a risk taker, you go strolling along the waterfront Kim Williams Trail. Eight, Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park. The Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park is the oldest and perhaps the most impressive state park in Montana. This park features one of the most decorated limestone caverns in the Northwest. The spectacular caves are naturally air conditioned, giving visitors a cozy feeling as they explore the stalactites, stagmites, columns, and helicites, which can be found in various parts of the cave. To make the caves safe to visit, authorities have lined the cave 
with electric lights and also offer guided tours conducted daily between May 1 and September 30th. Other times of the year, however, the caves are open to visitors who wish to explore the caves on their own. Additionally, the areas above the cave offer about 10 miles of hiking trails, a 40-space campground, three camping cabins capable of containing a maximum of six people, picnic sites, and a variety of other fun features. Aside from bringing your kids, you can also come along with your pets only on the condition that they are kept under control. Seven, Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. The Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument is arguably one of the most famous military battle spots in America. This same location is where Custer's last stand took place in 1876 between the 7th Cavalry Regiment of the United States Army and the combined forces of the Lakota Sioux Northern Cheyenne and our Apache tribes, which were the Native American tribes inhabiting their region. Although the American troops lost the battle, the site still serves as an important historical attraction for historians and military lovers who come here to learn more about America and Native American history. Six, Helena. Being the state capital of Montana, the city of Helena does not fail to represent it. The city receives an average amount of 30,000 tourists every year who come to experience what life in this great city offers. The city state's capital is large and beautiful, making it an important structure you must see. Its dome is visible from several miles and is one of the things that is sure to catch your attention when you step into the city. Aside from the capital, the city also features several other spots you can visit. You can check out some places like the gates of the mountains of the Missouri River, which also flows through the city. These famous mountains present a collection of cliffs and were famously named by explorers Lewis and Clark. The view from these cliffs is absolutely breathtaking and is the present place to take your partner on a romantic date. Five Whitefish. Wherever there's a discussion about the amazing natural landscapes and attractions in Montana, there's a discussion about whitefish brewing up. This town in Montana is situated just north of Kalispell and is popularly known as the gateway of the Glacier National Park, a charming resort in this town you might visit. According to experts, whitefish is a product of glacier activity and proof of this is that the abundance of pristine glacier lakes and stunning streams these spots make it a perfect location to take a swim go fishing or boat driving with friends four flathead lake Flathead Lake is a large natural lake in northwest Montana. Its size is comparable to Minnesota's Mile Lacks Lake, but smaller than Red Lake. Experts say that the lake is a remnant of Lake Missoula, a prehistoric pro-glacier lake that existed around the same area periodically at the end of the last ice age between 15,000 and 13,000 years ago. Not only Flathead have a cool origin, but it is also present a picturesque and almost storybook-like environment that seems to attract tourists far and wide to the area. There are several things to do around this lake, ranging from walking around its banks while eating cherries bought from the nearby farmers markets to take boat trips on the lake.
3. West Yellowstone Although much of the popular Yellowstone National Park is situated within the state of Wyoming, park's entrances are actually located in Montana. A notable entrance is the West Yellowstone, which serves as its western gate. West Yellowstone is, however, not just a gate. It's also home to attractions like Old Faithful and several museums with amazing collections for visitors to see. A popular museum you can visit is the Museum of Yellowstone. If you're a fan of history, this museum is surely the perfect match for you. Here you'll learn a lot about the town history of West Yellowstone and more about its pepper culture. You can also take a fun bus tour on one of West Yellowstone vacation buses. Two, Bozeman. The city of Bozeman is the perfect blend of what West Yellowstone and Missoula offer, a gateway to the famed Yellowstone Park, and an exhilarating campus feeling. In this city, you can choose to explore the wilds and go on adventures while camping out and hiking, or check out some of the city's popular attractions, such as Pioneer Museum, the Museum of the Rockies, the Emerson Center for Arts and Culture, and American Computer Museum. One, Glacier National Park. A first look at Glacier National Park, and you'll understand why most people who visit Montana refuse to leave. This park is the perfect destination for you if you have a liking for dramatic landscapes. This park, however, offers more than just natural beauty as there are more than 700 miles of hiking trails available if you seek wild adventures. Additionally, it offers lakes where you can go boat riding or fishing with friends or spend time alone with your thoughts. 